Good evening guys. It's ten ten minutes to ten in the no, ten minutes to eleven in the evening, rather. Can't read the clock now. Anyway. Pop these batteries in there and turn it on. Nemo was watching another cat outside if you're wondering why he was up the window like that. Yeah. I know there's some light change behind me, but I don't know what it was. Could have been the computer screen. Right. Today was roast dinner day, as it was Sunday. So I had roast dinner at Mum's. And I love. Shut up, you. Shush. No, shush. Don't answer me back. Shush. Sit on the chair. Stupid bloody cat. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. Roast dinner at Mum's. Most bit of roast pork. And the usual roast potatoes, vegetables. I do apologise for pointing the camera somewhere past my head just then. No idea why. My hand just sort of drifts. I'm sure, I'm sure my hands have a life of their own. Anyway. Um, we've got some of Mum's books on the bookcase. We couldn't get them all because there weren't enough room. But out of about roughly 12 boxes, we've got half of them on the shelf. So that's not bad. And I suggested putting one on the other side of the chimney breast, because I think one either side of the um, chimney breast in the lounge would be a um, nice little touch. And it's quite a wide fireplace. There's a lot of brickwork between the fireplace and the books before anyone says fire risk. Um, and hopefully this year they won't need to use the open fire anyway. Um, we hope. So we did that, then we had a sort out in the loft, because quite frankly it hasn't had a sort out in years. I mean they've lived in private rent accommodation since mum and stepdad have been together, so they've moved around a few times when the landlords haven't wanted to renew the tenancy, which they don't seem to do often to be honest. Um, so it's usually they've just not had the time to and of course back then my stepdad didn't have his mobile accident so he was fully mobile and working and well <laughs> didn't have the time back then to get up there and actually sort the crap out so it's been done now so he should have enough room underneath his um model railway tables to pin the bus wires up and I'm going to tack the mains cable up for the um, power outlets that he's got up there for the um, railway controllers and soldering iron and whatnot because um, at the moment it's sort of flailing around all over the place and getting in the way and I've actually forgotten about that um, because I, if I remember correctly, I left it when I put the sockets in because I didn't have any clips left. Um, that was like last year. <laughs> so, I completely forgot about it until I was up there today and I was like, oh yeah, I've got this flaming cable that needs pinning down. <laughs> um, yeah, it's coming along nicely. Um, if we weren't so busy up there today, I'd have taken the camera up there and sort of stood on a spot and d done a complete circle because that's about as big as it is. <laughs> um, uh, Biggles gave me a wheel for the um, French bike and I've got a front one down there because the original, or oh, the one out the Hercules isn't very good. So I think that may end up being scrapped to be honest. Um, so I've got a good one down there, 
tubes down there, a couple of tires are over there, so we should be good to go, in theory. <laughs> uh, what I need to do as well, because we're going to use the back wheel out of the old Hercules, because one, this one's buckled, and two, just can't find this size tyre anywhere. It's not a size I've ever come across. It's bigger than a mountain bike wheel, but smaller than the 26 inch size sort of old three speed wheel. It's somewhere in between. And so it's not a size, even though when I put sat that wheel next to the original front wheel out of this Moto BK, which is there. They lined up perfectly. They looked like they were the perfectly the same size. That didn't actually make much sense. When I put them together, I'll try again. When I put them together, they looked, you know, the same size. The rims looked level with each other, so... But this tyre will not go on that rim. And, of course, that tyre on that rim and that tyre and those two tyres will not go on that one because they're too big but this one is too small so weird size um, but quite frankly these wheels are rusty and crap anyway that one's got a broken spoke in it if I remember rightly somewhere there's a broken spoke I remember seeing it I just can't find it now sure it was this one's got a broken spoke in it yeah, somewhere it's got broken spoke in that wheel, and there's a buckle in it, so... And it's not worth really trying to straighten the wheel out, because we'll... Yeah, look at it. I know the um, Hercules one has been painted, but it still... is a lot better than the one that's currently in it. But the, the, um, one job I've got to do is take this cog off, and put it on that one. Because that one is actually smaller. Which explains why when I put that wheel in here the first time, I got the wheel all the way into the bottom of the um, dropouts, and this chain was still slack, far too slack. So swap those around, and that wheel should sit in there quite nicely. Um, but if I've got to uh, take a link or two out of that chain, then I'll just have to do it. That's you know, that's just, uh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> you know, it's just, just something I've got to do, we'll put it that way. Um, it won't be tomorrow, because I should be going to Mum's again tomorrow. Because uh, there's a big pile of rubbish outside the pack door that's got to go down to the recycling centre. Uh, I would actually like to go with Stepdad, because uh, I'd like to um, see if there's any mountain bikes or anything down there that I can nab half decent ones and I don't want mint ones but a half decent one would be nice uh, just something I can quickly sort of do up and flog on again for a little bit of extra cash uh, but now I've got that extra fiver in my pocket then I can guarantee there won't be anything up there because <laughs> that would be sod's law but uh, you never know unless you look. So, uh, one of my jobs... Actually, I've got several jobs on this to do yet before I put the wheels in. I need to clean it. It's going to be far easier to give this frame and the mud guards a clean down while the wheels are out than that would be with the wheels in. Uh, so, yeah, I'll do that first. Not tonight, because it's getting too late. Uh, oh, my brother's let me bring my um, laptop home that I bought. Got to be two, three months ago now I bought this. Ish. Um, it's an Advent. Uh, K100 is the number there. It's got an Intel Celeron M520 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, 
80 gigabyte S ATA hard drive, uh, Intel graphics, a gigabyte of DDR2 533 RAM, and I know I can upgrade that to two. I will double check the specs of this though. Considering it's got a Windows Vista sticker on it, then I'm going to assume I'm not an expert on identifying processors, but I'm going to assume that's a dual core. But it is, because it's only got the one gigabyte DDR2, it is rather slow on Windows 7. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to completely refurbish it. I'm going to get the two gigabyte stick upgrade, put that in there, because there's only the one slot, so it's got to be a two gig stick. And um, put a fresh copy of uh, Windows 7 on it, and uh, that should, at least, be a half decent laptop. I, mean, I can't believe it was built for Vista and only had a gigabyte on it. Oh my god, that must have been slow. Yeah, I can't turn it on because it needs the external power supply, which is uh, in that bag the battery doesn't hold, but that doesn't matter for what I'm going to use it for anyway. You know, I only watch something which is sort of semi-fast for me to chill out in bed with. Pretty much just so I can have Facebook up and Yahoo Messenger. And maybe Skype. That should run Skype. Um, just so as I can just chill in bed and talk to my friends and family, that's all, because... Uh, Ever since my little um, compact mini died, I haven't been able to do that. And I do miss just chilling out in bed with the TV on for a little while. Because uh, it's just gone 11 o'clock, so when I had the compact mini, I'd uh, disappeared to the bedroom around about this time, put Family Guy on, and just chill with the laptop on. Ain't that right, Nemo? That reminds me, I've got an <coughs> excuse me, I've got a Toshiba up on the cabinet here. That still needs some work. Um, it needs a memory upgrade as well and a keyboard. And uh, I think I put Windows XP on that, but I could make a pretty um, decent Windows XP with that machine. Once I um, find a keyboard and a memory upgrade, and oh hello, it looks like my little brother has um, just messaged me. Well, it looks like he's found some memory. Oh, is that all it is? Eight gigabyte, two times four gigabyte DDR3, 8,333 megahertz. Mm. Well, if that's what he wants me to buy, I will buy it. Um, yeah, we've sort of struck up a deal. He bought a PS3, I don't know, about a month ago, maybe two months ago, something like that. Because all his mates had got bored with the PS4 because there was no release. No new games being released for a while, and most of them still had their PS3, so they just went back on that to play... I don't know, probably GTA or something. I don't know why they didn't do that on the PS4s, but never mind. So my brother bought one so he could join them. Now in about a month's time, there's going to be some new games for the PS4 being released. So my brother asked me today if I wanted to buy the PS3 from him. Um, I will have to get a better TV to put it on, because I don't particularly want to put it through that sort of TV. <laughs> yeah. Um... So, what he suggested is that if I spend, well, in that case there, as you saw, about £30 buying the memory for his PC, um, then he'll only charge me £40 for the PS3. So I'd sort of basically pay for the PS3 in part with the memory for his um, P um, computer. Because he's hoping that at some point this week he'll um, get the desk built in his bedroom that he's been wanting for a while. Um, 
I think him and stepdad are going to go and get the wood for that sometime this week. I think is the plan, I'm not sure. He just said it's the cheapest I can find. Don't know about you, I haven't looked yet. <laughs> I haven't looked. I literally got in the door after putting everything away downstairs, because I've got another bike frame downstairs, another racer frame. I may build into a racer, because I've got the handlebars. I think I've got some brake levers somewhere. Or did have. <laughs> um, so I couldn't knock together a racing bike. I've got wheels of you know, I could easily do it if I want to. What I might do just for the hell of it. Because uh, I don't have a road bike or a racing bike, not anymore because I sold the other ones. Part of me wishes I didn't, but um, once I did that and sold all my bikes, I sort of start to miss being able to go to the shed and having a choice of bikes to ride, as daft as that might sound. I did like having the options, you know. I could go down to the shed and think, mm, what do I feel like taking to the shops today? Oh, I know, I'll take the Claude Butler, or I'll take the Rally Stonefly, which is what I can do now, you know. I can choose between more. It could be I'll take the Apollo suspension bike, or I've still got my Rally Hybrid that I built. That's still down there. I could take that if I wanted to. Or my little shopper. Or this one when it's done. You know, it likes to be a pain in the backside. But I think it's going to be worth it when it's done. It's not going to be the cleanest thing on the planet. But again, I actually think it's showing its age nicely, if that's such a thing. You know, it's not too rough. But it's not too mint for its age either. You know, it's sort of aged well. That's, that's the word I'll use. It's aged well. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully. The only reason I want the PS3 is just to play GTA 5. Because <laughs> I miss playing that. <laughs> uh, I could actually get an HDMI adapter and run the PS3 through the monitor. If I wanted to. <laughs> but uh, I don't even want a cheap TV with HDMI on. I don't want a humongous television. Because mum is adamant that I should get rid of this and get a two-seater sofa. Even though I said the plan is to get rid of the sofa so I can have room for a leg of railway. But uh, no. So... If she is going to make me get another sofa, because you know what mothers are like. I live alone, it's my home, but... Oh well. <laughs> but I may actually... Well, apart from the stereo, I'll probably throw this table and the consoles in the bedroom. Maybe. <laughs> um, but that will mean I'll have to have a shunt around in there and get rid of some more fucking junk. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking. I might actually put that server on eBay as it is. £10 start bid collection only because it's too bleeding heavy. There is no way a courier would pick that up because that's too heavy. Well, they would. Well, not the standard couriers you get. They wouldn't pick it up anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, but either way, I want this because if I move that, then I could put a little two-seater sofa in this area. Um. Yeah. That would be one plan. Actually, if I got rid of that sofa, I could put my coffee table back in there and have some more area to put a road on <laughs> for the Lego display. <laughs> yeah. 
So I could in fact you know, completely convert this lounge to the Lego room. Well, aside from the PC that I use and some other entertainment equipment that I might keep in here. Uh, and then somehow, with a bit of jiggling around, I hope. Well, got stuck in my foot, blood tape. Uh, so I think that if I've got rid of that server, you know, those TVs and everything would actually sit in there, and that would actually mean I'd have to properly add in some extra outlets. Uh, but I think that would be worth it. Because this is the room that I usually watch TV in anyway, so I might as well put the consoles in here because I could then sit across. If I get a slightly larger TV, I could then just sit on the bed and pew, 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 play the consoles if I want to. Um, yeah, I mean, if, I have, if I had to, I could always roll that table a little bit further along the wall. But I'd have to get rid of that server first. I actually like that idea. Okay, I've got to try and get these containers down here under the bed. Now I've got some room under there. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I was actually going to do, wasn't it? Try and make some room under the bed for them containers. Failing that, like one of them at least could go up on that shelf out of the bloody way. I've got two more computer cases I need to look at. Uh, to see if I want to sell them as they are, or just strip them out for parts and oh, get rid of them, and or keep. Ugh! I just burped and stomach bowl come up with it. Absolutely hate it when that happens. It's disgusting. Oh, for Pete's sake! Looking for these switches, and I've just found them. Right, I'm going to put them. Somewhere where I can where I can see them, because I will want them. I've got to find my old LED bulbs. Oh, never mind, I found one. <laughs> I've got another one of these somewhere. Yeah, these are older ones, and they're not very bright. But what I was thinking to try and help Mum save on a bit of money, she's got some of these above the kitchen sink. Uh, strictly speaking. I don't think they're meant to be there as the mains voltage, but, oh well. <laughs> but I was thinking um, these would uh, save her a bit of money, because I could put these in for her. And then she could have those on above the kitchen sink, and it would be like a little night light in the kitchen, without having the big old fluorescent light on, or the other three halogens on. So it would be a lot cheaper to run these. If I could afford it, I'd get her some... And if they did them bright enough, I'd get some um, 12 volt halogen spots for the um, low voltage ones in the kitchen. Uh, not halogen, LED ones. But they don't do them bright enough. Because being in the kitchen and being above the kitchen table where stepdad does a lot of his um, fiddly wiring through his model railways, he needs a good bright light. So... I know I've got another one. Oh, well, that might actually be in the bulb box under the bed. Possibly. I don't know. But, uh, I will have a look. I will have a look. And I'll take them over to Mum's tomorrow. And just to show actually how damp it is in that kitchen of hers, the actual light fin has got spots of rust on it. Um. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think the TV and everything. Probably Tuesday. I'll end up doing that. Um. So I need to get rid of those two boxes out of there. They've got to go somewhere. <laughs> I've decided where. Got those. That silver fronted computer tower up there, n next to the Dell. 
and one down the corner here I need to sort out uh, and decide what I want to do with them the apple that's a keeper that Dell's a keeper that IBM is a scrapper uh, I might say bollocks to that Dell up there and scrap that one as well um, I don't think I'll ever sell them even if I tried I don't think they'd sell may strip out these two here as well because they're exactly the same as that one and I know that one could be a bit temperamental so I may strip the boards and whatnot out of these and just keep the spares for that one over there because I don't need them or I might actually keep one because I was going to experiment with Windows 2000 on it <laughs> see if I can get that on it um, but I don't think I really need to sort those two out just yet I think they're fine as they are up there they're not going to do any harm One thing I've got to sort out for Stepdad as well is the lighting in the attic. He's got this single fluorescent light up there, and uh, because of it's in the middle of the roof, because obviously he's got the, the house roof, so it's um, you know it's slanted like that, and uh, because of that, when he works on his uh, railway tables, the light is behind him. So, if I get the same problem here, and then you can see my shadow all over the table, that's what he's got there, so he can't see what he's doing very well. So I need to come up with an idea to um, improve the lighting up there. Um, I've got a couple of ideas that might work. Bloody itch. I've got a couple of ideas. Uh, let's turn that on. I've got that light there, because uh, hopefully the um, tube will stay there. These screw flat like that instead of like that. Because you know, these are designed as under cabinet lights, really old ones. <laughs> and um, so I was thinking of screwing these. To the slanted ceiling like that, sort of level with his head. That way, it'll light up his table and he can see what he's doing. And these have a built-in switch on them as, as well, you see. So I can wire them straight up to the main light. So he turns the main light on, which is operated by a switch down by the um, my sister's bedroom door. Actually, we. Uh, did that so we just flick the light switch on before we go up the ladder. Um, so I could set it up with those lights because there is another one. It's in use in the workshop because I put it up in the um, lean-to area, but that's not a problem because I've got a friggin' light here that I'm not really using. But I did save from the car boot stuff. You know, I could put this up in the wooden area or better yet they could do with a better light in the bathroom so there's a one they've got in there at the minute shit mind you the whole bathroom area and the extension area is shit anyway <laughs> I ain't kidding it's fallen to bits um, the roof is knackered on the extension that really needs um, replacing but that's up to the landlord we can't do anything about that he'd let us do it but you know if he supplies the materials we'll sort the roof uh, I'm going to need some muscle here to get that sofa down and out of the way Because knowing me, I probably will. I don't think the coffee table I've got is going to fit in that gap lengthwise, though. And quite frankly, I wouldn't want it that way. 
<laughs> just because I wouldn't get to the window. <clears throat> Actually, if I got rid of this sofa, I could turn that Lego table around so it goes down that, that wall. I mean, <laughs> changing the lighting over there yet again, but that's not really too difficult. Um, I'm sure I could conjure up something over on this side. I was just thinking I'd be able to access, but well, then again, it wouldn't matter, would it? Because I'd still be able to access the window there. I feel that table's moved again because there's a gap. There isn't meant to be a gap. Yeah, there was. There we go. It's meant to be butt up against that table. I'll put a bloody screw through there, that wouldn't move then, will it? But then again, I wouldn't be able to move it when I want to move it, so... That wouldn't be, <laughs> wouldn't be a good idea, would it? Yeah, that's an option, I suppose. Uh, but I couldn't really put the Lego station, railway station up this end because I've got cables and everything on the floor. Yeah, I'll just get rid of the sofa. <laughs> and put it up here. And then hopefully the, I could um, could sit a coffee table in the end there. It'd be nice if I could get the coffee table that way in, but I think pretty certain it's going to be too long, unless I trim the ends off, <laughs> just to make it fit. Because <laughs> um, I could do that on this actually. I could, in fact, in fact, I could. Trim about half an inch off each end from the look of it. Um, so it just depends how much wider it is. Uh, ideas and ideas, ideas, got lots of ideas. Um, I'm going to leave that light on. It's not like LEDs are going to chew my electric bill, is it? Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down. Because I've pretty much spoken about everything I had to speak about. So, thanks for watching, as always. It's much appreciated. Um, hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.